Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for August 25th of 2025 is titled The Meteor and the Star Cluster. So, what do we see here? Well, here we see in the background a deep image of the Pleiades star cluster. And when you want to study the stars there and the gas and dust around them, what you do is you take long exposures, but not a single long exposure, but a lot of them and put them together digitally so you can pick up more detail than could possibly be visible in a single image. So if you note all the nebulosity and dust around these, this is an example of what is called a reflection nebula. And that is when dust around hot stars scatters the light from those stars and preferentially scatters the blue light, giving the reflection nebula its distinct blue color. Now, of course, we do see one object here that is not a part of that cluster, and that is the streak of a meteor that happens to go across the image. Now, lots of things like this can happen when you're taking an image. You can get air, air plane trails coming through. You could get some clouds that might be brighter coming through. Different satellite trails can happen to go through the image, and those might distract from what you want to look at in your image. So there are ways to digitally remove those so you can still get the image that you're looking for. However, occasionally you get a nice surprise here and not something you could plan for because this is a meteor that happened to pass through while one of the images was being taken. So, a meteor is not something that can be predicted. Yes, we can tell you all about a meteor shower that's coming, and there's going to be lots of meteors. But to tell you that any one meteor is going to streak across a specific section of the sky, especially something as small as the Pleiades cluster, is impossible. What the meteors are actually tiny bits of dust, grains of sand, little bits of material. They are impossible to track. But when they strike Earth's atmosphere, they can glow. They will vaporize and glow in Earth's upper atmosphere and allow us to see them. So only by chance can you happen to get something like this. Certainly you might have a larger chance if you take it during the time of a meteor shower, but you could still be waiting and waiting a long time to happen to have one come across the image that you are taking, such as this. So, if you want to plan to get a meteor coming across the Pleiades, that's a very difficult thing to do, but of course, by chance, it is going to happen every once in a while, as we see in our image today. Now, you can also note the distinctive green glow of the meteor. The coloring can tell us something about the composition or what that material was made up of. In this case, likely vaporized metals that glow with the distinct green color that we see here. So that was our picture of the day for August 25th of 2025. It was titled The Meteor and the Star Cluster, We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be Leaky Star. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.